So hello everybody, it is not Friday, but it's time for another DAX Friday, a new DAX function every Friday. Why am I doing DAX Fridays today? Because you have asked me quite a few times already, how do I calculate new cases for the Corona data set? And why wait to Friday? Let's do it today and then we do something else on Friday, okay? So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to grab the same data set that we've used in for the last two videos. But we need to do a little bit of modification to that. We need to put all the cases, recover deaths, and confirm in one column. If you already do done that, go in here, skip to that minute, because that's where I start the video showing the previous uh, row. If you haven't done it, follow me along. So we'll get this data set in shape. The, the reason why, let, let me show you. What we've done is we have confirmed recover and deaths in three separate columns. but. We don't want to do the new cases calculation three times, so it's better to just put them all in one column and then tag them. So what we're going to do, we go to first recovered. Here we're going to call it cases, and we're going to add a new column that tags this data as recovered data. So we're going to call it type. Make sure that you have the same column name so it appends correctly. Recovered. Okay, and then we're going to do the same with deaths. First, we're going to change the name to cases. I did call it cases, right? Yeah, and then we're going to do exactly the same thing, a custom column, and we're going to call that um, type. And these are deaths. Ugh, what a data set, seriously. And um, we are going to go to the overall cases. We need to do this change before we append. So we go up here. Here is cases. And then we go here, insert type. And here it is, confirmed. Okay, so now we have a tag for what type of data it is on each row. Then we go to append query, as you can see it appends everything correctly. And then change type, we need to remove the all columns because they don't exist anymore. And retype them, which is this is a whole number and this is text. Okay, so now home, close and apply. And now we're going to, some, some things are going to break, we'll fix them right away and uh, I'll show you how to calculate the previous row using DAX. Um, let's see, so the first thing we're going to see is that the case confirmed won't work anymore. Now, make sure that you understand now that total cases, this total cases sum contains all cases recovered deaths uh, confirmed, okay? So another thing that we're going to do is going to change the calculation we did for the financial times graph number one because this is got to be now cases and number two because now we want to group this also by confirmed cases so we need to have type equal to confirmed okay so now we will get exactly the same thing, uh, but it is soldered correctly. So let's save that and let's get going with the previous row. How do we calculate previous row? Well, normally you will calculate previous row with um, earlier, but there is a possibility to do it nowadays with a variable. So I think the, the syntax is, is clear for some reason. It just it works better in my head than with the earlier function. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use a variable. A variable is basically storing the previous row. And if you want to know exactly how this works, because it works exactly less earlier, go and check the earlier video. I explain it in detail how that thing works, okay? So we're going to have create a variable for locations. I'm going to write S because location is not going to let me do it. It is already reserved, that word, and here it is location. So store the value of that, store the value of dates. Again, I have to put an S. So it 
date is also reserved, and then we're going to do var uh, types, right? And then type. And then I am going to show you how, what that does. We're going to return and we're going to calculate the max, the max of uh, cases. There we have it. And then we're going to filter the table. So the max of what we have to give a table to calculate. What table is that is going to be? Is overall cases, but it's going to be a filter over cases. So it is going to be overall cases location equal to location now change this to earlier and you you've got the same thing so go to the earlier video overall date equal no not equal less than so it iterates date and type type equal to type And let me show you what that does. This basically is going to get the previous row of the... I'll show you. It is so much easier to see. Let me pick Sweden that doesn't have a lot of... So um, here we have the cases. Let me do it by sort of sending. So we see. So here are the cases. Here's that one, uh, oh, and type also, get confirmed. So it starts one, and then you see that it gets the previous row, it gets very clear here. So it demoted the previous row, and that's exactly what we want to calculate the, uh, the number of new cases, because the only thing that we have left now is to have cases minus new cases, and that will give us the new cases, or cases minus previous row. So we're going to go back to our new cases column and I'm going to convert this to a variable. And I'm going to put here return and then I'm going to do cases minus previous cases. And let's see, so here we have two, so it's one, five, seven, seven, no new here, five new, two new, so now we have the new cases, okay? So that's how you calculate new cases. And now it is filtered by confirm, but you have the new cases for um, recovering that in just one column. So hopefully this was useful and it keeps you going with this data set as always please use this data set carefully don't make wild assumptions about anything it's very useful i think to reproduce what others are doing and with others i mean with authorities you know data your publications that have been verified by world-renowned uh, organizations, okay? So be very, very, very careful. There's a lot of misinformation going on and we have the responsibility to give always correct information. So replicate what these authorities have been doing just for learning and just, you know, it, we will be sharing also um, good information to the public. So act responsibly, please. please. I will see you again on Wednesday and until then, take care. Bye-bye.